YouTube! Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick draft of War of the Spark. This came uh, onto Arena, I think it was Saturday, and uh, super excited. I love it when they go back to older sets because uh, they're nostalgic, and uh, War of the Spark was probably one of my favorite uh, paper drafts to do at one of our local card shops. So I'm excited to see if we can build some similar decks, have a good time. Uh, I have a friend with me today, Ryan. He's just here to enjoy the experience with us, have some fun commentary, and just be present. But uh, anyway, let, uh, let us jump in here. The sad thing about uh, their throwback drafts is that they are just simple quick drafts. So you're not drafting against another player. But you do have all the time in the world to pick your cards, and you don't have to feel rushed or anything. But uh, let's play. So, like I do pretty much with any any draft, I always like to speculate on taking the rare and just going from there, but I'm not sure how I feel about just pigeonholing myself into red-black right off the get-go. This card can be good, but in limited, if it's not in your opening hand, it can be a big bummer. We could go into a more planeswalkery control build, and Obnixilis is good for that. Uh... I also really like Gleaming uh, Overseer. We could find ourselves into a nice Amass deck. Just make big duders. For those wondering, this is pretty much Pinky, Pinky and the Brain. He knows everything, and I know next to nothing about this. Yeah, he's played Magic before, and he's uh, done different draft formats, but uh, I don't think he's ever drafted... Magic the Gathering. He's done sealed. We've uh we do a two headed sealed from time to time. See Mark knows all the technical terms and I'm just like, You want a goblin on me? Let's play goblins. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, uh I think I'm just gonna take the god uh, the gleaming overseer. I think that'll be a little bit more fun than uh the Dreadhorde Butcher. It's a little loose, but uh I think that's what we want to do. Do they still have foils in the MTG arena? Yeah, on Arena they do have uh foils and alt arts. So that is something they have. Can't imagine it's much more better because it's just like, oh, look at the graphics on this card. We used two more pixels on this one than the normal. A lot of the uh, alternate arts have like moving pictures, so like the picture oh. will be dancing and gifs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Um, I really like this card a lot. You do kind of have to build around it, but if you get yourself a way of getting counters on it, that's pretty strong. Uh, but to go with our gleaming overseer. It seems like our best pick here would be Herald of Dreadhorde. It's pretty sad that we happen to take a common here instead of like some of the uncommons here, but I don't see us playing any of these. I mean, Sahili might work, but not with the current deck that we're building. So I'm going to take the Dreadhorde here, uh, potentially hope to wheel a Heart File or Sahili, and we can go from there. I like the name there. It's, it's like Spellgorger. Weird. <laughs> Isn't that weird, guys? He's a spell warrior. Gideon Triumphs is nice. Uh, if we end up do getting uh, some Gideon Planeswalkers, it gets a little better, but it's it's perfectly fine removal. There's a lot of board stalls in this game where the game just goes long and you need a way to push through, uh, which makes Gideon's Triumph a little bit worse because if you have a bunch of creatures out, you just sacrifice your least favorite creature, so I'm not too high on it being a good removal piece. I do, however, like a God for a statue. It's just a great way to have a form of inevitability, and it really uh, harms your opponent if you get this down. If we do end up playing this, which I think it is the pick, uh, we'll probably be entering into green if we can to try and find good ramp, but I do like a God for a statue. Uh, we could also take the Avon Eternal here, but uh, I'm going to take the Uncommon because they're probably will be more comments coming around. That card's like, oh, I'm sorry, did you want to play a game and have fun? It's <laughs> no. going to take longer, and we're all going to slowly die, like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> so Obnixilis did come uh, into another pack, so we could potentially get multiple Obnixilis, but since we're drafting against the arena bots, most likely they just are going to take all of the uncommons and leave us with commons down the road. Uh, but nothing else here seems that fantastic. This would have gone really great with our proliferator creature earlier on, but we didn't take that one, so that's fine. So it's going to be either Obnixilis or Herald of the Dreadhorde. Um, but I think I'm going to take Obnixilis here. It kind of goes along with our inevitable pinging that uh, Godfrey's statue does. 
So I'm perfectly fine with taking this. The hate twisted. He played Bop it too long. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> too much Bop it. Oh, I should have flicked it. Okay. Uh, a lot of our creatures uh, amass at some point in their life or death. So Kai's ghost form can be pretty fine. Uh, we can also put it on Nip, uh, Nixilis. Omnipolis. Oh. Ob, ob, <laughs> There's ob, many ways you can go with that one. Omnipolis, because he has no ob, nipples. Omnipolis. Omnipolis. Yeah, he's got like. Wait, Jolly Saint that. Nipples. He's got magma crags for nipples. <laughs> That's funny. So I am I am liking Kaya's ghost form. I think it's perfectly fine. He's got a backlit LED like your keyboard for nipples. Very nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, a of the Fallen is fine. If we end up getting more Planeswalkers, this is a great way to just crank value out of the late game. I think that's what we're going to end up taking here. A.K. I've fallen and I can't get up. We could potentially take another uh, Herald of the Dreadhorde, but uh, I like A of the Fallen. We're still in black-blue. No need to take any of the other things here. This card is fairly good, but again, I don't think that we're going to have many non-creature spells that we're going to want to cast in this format. We're not in this for fairly good. We need Supreme Maximum. Okay, um, so here's where we kind of got to make a decision, and I'm Unlike pretty before. sure it's going to be what we stated before. So this is a form of ramp, which can help us get to our Godfrey statue, our Obnixilis, a little bit sooner. We can cast Ob on turn four if we play this, so I like that a lot. Uh, and uh, I don't see myself going into red. There are a lot. There are a lot of good red cards in War of the Spark. And red does seem to be open, but you can't really read the signs of the arena bots because they're just blind picking, really. They haven't got that figured out yet. So, I'm pretty sure we're just going to take New Horizons here and start the splash. And who knows, if we uh, get past the right cards, we may end up being splashing blue instead of green, because we only have one of each of those cards. We're just mostly black. <laughs> I like uh, <laughs> I like Interplanar Beacon. I think that card is fine uh, if we do find ourselves getting more Planeswalkers, but we have to start prioritizing Planeswalkers. Uh, this card is also decent. It's a fine way for us to uh, get a land if we're short on a color. Like, say we are got our black and our green, but we're missing our blue. This can help us find it. Uh, plus, it gains its life, so it's fine. I think those are the only two cards that I'd consider playing. Uh, Banehound's a little bit too fragile for this draft, but uh, let's have some fun. I'm going to take the Interplanar Beacon, and we're going to prioritize Planeswalkers and Amass Creatures, and we'll make a Planeswalky Amassy deck. We'll do something like that. Uh, da -da -da. 3 mana 3 2. I'll take the 4 mana 1 5. If we end up getting um, Hwatli, then we can start uh, attacking with our where are they at? giant booty creatures. <laughs> So Which one of those? I'm sorry. So see how they have large toughness? Their toughness is higher than their power. Oh, I thought you were referencing Splash Art or something. I got excited for a moment. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's a card in the set uh, that's uh, a Planeswalker called Hwatli that uh, has the stagnant ability that all of your creatures deal damage equal to their toughness instead of their power. Huh. Probably going to take the globe here. I don't think I see myself just playing a, a, just a 1-2 flyer. What if they had like an April Fool's pack or a uh, parody pack where they just sell like the Harlem Grill of Globetrotters? I guess we'll take the flyer. They have, I mean, they the uh, the set third tonight when we draft Ikoria is got Godzilla themes. Oh. Uh, have you seen the new Ikoria? Have you seen the new Ikoria cards? No. If you uh, look at the box oh, back there, you can... physically, not on the, the television. Yeah, don't, don't open up a new box, but here's a box that's already been opened. You can look through some of the cards in here and see what uh, we're going to be playing with tonight. I am filming this before we stream. Dice is nice. Yeah, we'll take the Grim Initiate, because that's played. But we got a giant worm. I've got a giant worm. Woo! All right, sweet. Okay, so we got a good Planeswalker in green that also ramps us, so it goes towards our inner planner beacon plan. So it looks like we're now on to the splashing blue side of things. Uh, outside of this, Liliana's Triumph is pretty nice. Soren's Thirst is fine. 
I do like a uh, nurturer, but uh, we're gonna take Nissa who who shakes him. Nissa who shakes the world as you do, of course. Uh, plain white celebration. I really like it. That card is pretty fantastic, and for some reason the bots passed us another rare. Again, it's a very high cost spell, but if we're playing Nissa who shakes the world and New Horizons, we can potentially get a nice ramp package going. And this card is just backbreaking if you end up casting it. Uh, other notable cards in this pack, probably just uh, not even going to try Wild Crafter because it's also ramp can tap. I also really like Vampire Opportunist in these limited formats because these games do get to a very board stally point and having a form of inevitability is always good. But yeah, we're definitely going to take Plate Wine Celebration here. Hope to wheel Yang Yang, Vampire Opportunist, or Kazmina's Transmutation. Let's see what we got here. We got Watley's Raptor. Ooh, this is fantastic. Obnixilus Cruelty is just wonderful removal, uh, and I don't think there's anything better for us in this pack. Would like to wheel the Nurturer. Let's see what we got here. Another Obnixilus's Cruelty. That's pretty good. I thought that said Mana Grenade. I'm mana miss Geode. I'm missing it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The Rainbow. I do think that this is our best pick. Uh, this is also fairly nice. It's good removal for the Planeswalkers. <laughs> what is that on his hands? They're dragons. What? I know, but why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I, I, uh, if I was in red, I would look towards this, because it's always nice to have five to the face, or just hurting a Planeswalker pretty bad. There was a weird Marvel superhero whose power was that he had worms. He had... He he had like two metal worms in his digestive tract for the longest time until Mag he found Magneto and Magneto pulled them out. And as soon as they are outside, they're just like, yeah, we'll be your best buds and be your uh, hand slaves and whatnot. So he uses the power of these two metal-eating worms to fight crime. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. But he just said that's his whole shtick. He has two metal-eating worms in his, that are stay on his hands until he like does... Uh, I saw it in like an encyclopedia. I didn't actually see him in a comic. comic. Okay. So this is pretty good for the amass half of our deck since we're amass walkers. Uh, although I really like uh, Kazmina's tra transmutation. This is when you change your sweater. <laughs> Kazmir transmute. <laughs> turn, turn me into a frog, Gertrude. It turned me into a newt. I got better. <laughs> This is really tough. I'm not sure if I'm going to take the Reaver here or the Transmutation. Uh, I think we do want to take the removal spell. Because removal is just always pretty good. So we'll hope to try and get another Reaver because that's one of the best uh, MS creatures for us. Punt. <laughs> Punished! Alright, well it looks like we have two of these now. But that's okay. Those are those are good removal pieces. So our removal side is, is pretty nice. Okay. Hmm. Return to nature. Address unknown. I don't think we're going to really play any of these. Probably going to take another Eight of the Fallen just in case. Everything else just seems kind of medium. I don't really want to take Soren's Thirst here since we are in three colors, so having two black mana is just... Mm, uh, Eight of the Fallen 2, like Electric Boogaloo. The second one. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine with... Cool. I'm fine... <laughs> I'm fine with Liliana's Triumph here. This uh, spider is also pretty good. Uh, we don't well, have you hate spiders, so we have to ignore it completely. <laughs> I do. I really hate spiders. But we, we only have one uh, flyer, and if we're playing against a deck with a bunch of flyers, spider can kind of be our saving grace. But we do have a lot of removal, so uh, I'll just keep on the move plan, and if we end up keeping their board light, then Triumph can be good. And we could still open up a uh, Liliana. In my paper drafts... Uh, back-to-back -back Fridays when War of the Spark was new, I uh, opened up Liliana twice in a row. So that was fun. Wow. It was great. This card replaces itself, which is fine. I'll take the inevitability. <laughs> Tie the Bear Giant. That's who they trust the money with at the church. I'll take the Hexproof Gator. It's a fine beater. Gator done, dude. And we'll take the big ol' Hippo. Behemoth. Uh, I need none of these. Mrs. Triumph, who shakes the world, too. 
right. well that's that's a that's a big choice you have Ooh, all right that's pretty cool uh it's gonna be pretty hard to cast but uh we did take the interplane and our beacon we do have new horizons to give us two blue so i think we take the walker and just try and get really good mana fixing outside of that cards that are really good elite guard mage is fantastic if you can get the right flyer deck you're gonna have a pretty strong outcome Lazatop Reaver and the Centaur Nurturer are the two cards we really want to wheel out of this pack. Nurturer will also help us cast uh, Jace, but uh, get in the deck. So you're pretty much just focusing on blue, black, and green at this point, right? Yep. You're kind of just like putting everything else in the back of our heads. So it's like, say, I don't know another Planeswalker, but uh, we're not casting it. We did get a second Interplanar Beacon, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, other than that, this pack is kind of... Not much going for it. Uh, you have a Hand Ripper that's decent, but uh, for our colors, yeah, nothing else seems great. So we'll take the Planeswalker fixing. We don't have a lot of uh, instant sorceries, but this can, let's see here, this can also get Planeswalkers too. How many instant sorceries, or let's see here, non-creature, non-land. So how many non-creatures we got? One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, yeah, I'm sold. That's good enough. Yeah, so Narset, get in the deck. You can help us dig for more walkers. If I have to count to double digits, we have enough. <laughs> uh, probably just the nurturer. Seems seems about right. Probably just the nurturer, though. Teferi's time twist is also pretty good. Uh. And do the twist. I don't like that Teferi's uh, time twist doesn't allow your uh, Planeswalkers to enter with an extra loyalty counter on it. Because, I mean, it enters with an additional plus one, plus one counter if it's a creature. Why can't they just add the extra text? But I do like this. It's uh, kind of anti-removal. You flicker the spell they're trying to kill. Uh, it's kind of fine. I'm probably just going to take the Centaur here just because we want the better fixing in the ramp to get us to our bigger spells. So I think that's what we're going to do. We have a third beacon. Royal Grazer is also kind of decent, but uh, third beacon. I think the beacons where we want to go since we're more heavy. Interplanetary bacon. We do have a good variety of planeswalkers. This is a third pack, so this draft is actually going by fairly quickly. Do we want a third beacon? How many walkers we got? One, two, three. You're gonna keep going until you get all forty cards. Four. So four walkers. Uh, so like the deck is going to end up having uh, 23 to 24 non lands in it. Uh, we'll end up cutting the deck down once we finish drafting. Uh. Don't think we need the other beacon here. I think we uh, just need some goodies. Just not a lot of goodies in this pack to get. So we'll, we'll take bully. We'll take a beacon. Let's see what we got here. So a spider to come back around. So that's nice. That's uh. That's where we're going to end up taking here. Everything else just is kind of mopey. Total, I'm totally lost, dude. We have a second uh, God Pharaoh's statue, so we could go on the double statue plan. I'm not completely opposed to that. I think it's also a best card here. This card's also pretty decent, but we're not playing really big creatures. We're just kind of playing very defensive creatures, uh, trying to gallop the board and then win with uh, value cards. So let's go double statue. That'll be fun. No escape. It's been so long since I've uh, seen all these spells. It's insane. Uh, four or five trampler. Mm, we're just not doing much. Not doing much at all. What would you say the oldest effect in this game is? Oh my goodness. Like, so, That's I understand tricky. that the more recent meta has been, like, counter-target creature planeswalker, and then when invading, enter the battle, but I imagine, like, the first effects had to have been, like, uh, until the end of your turn, gain plus three, plus three. So, I mean... That's one of the oldest I can pick out, but can you remember anything older than that? Anything simpler? Hmm. I don't know what the first uh, first mechanics are. I've oh, spent a lot well, of time obviously the alpha. first one was just blank. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, the first mechanic is uh, Nothing. beast with a beard. Just numbers and mana cost. Numbers and mana. Uh, 
I'll take the I'll take the counter spell here. I'm fine with taking the Bane Hound at this point. I'm okay with that. Does that Bane Hound do a Bane impression? Four or five draw card seems all right. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Toll of Invasion, the one mana rip a card or the one, one 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 and rip a card. The one one. See, this is when you're tossing terms that just go right over my head. One 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 one. It's like you're speaking in Morse code. Just one 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 one. You know, I'm just gonna take the Grim Initiate. I'm not gonna play any of these cards, and I think I need like one more Grim Initiate for Cavalcade. I'll take the Uncommon. <laughs> take the Land Destruction because that'll be fun later on. Take the Big Girl. Wait, you don't have any red. I know. I put them in the sideboard. We're not playing them. Okay. All right. So now we have our deck, and now we need to do uh, the Cuttoning, and I think that'll be that'll be the mana for us. I like that. We'll, we'll give this a try. We'll see what we get. We might be a little light on creatures, but... Yeah, with only eight. But we have a good number of uh, removal spells and a uh, good number of planeswalkers. Yeah, you know those other streamers that talk about donating to plant trees? Well, this stream's different. We're going we're gonna to cut down a forest just for you guys. <laughs> cut down a forest just for our viewers. So let's uh, put this in our saved decks to talk about later, and let's hop into some games. We might be very light on creatures. Can you change your deck between matches? Yes. Okay. You can. That so makes more sense. If we find ourselves needing a little bit more boots on the ground, then uh, we can consider. Ooh. So this is really risky. Uh, yeah. We have no green, and our only spells we really want to cast are green. So we're going to end up mulliganing this hand. And this has all the colors. So uh, let's keep this. We'll be waiting until turn three to do something, but it'll be in our set, and she can help us find more walkers. So let's keep this, uh, and we'll put the Aid of the Fallen towards the bottom. That's something better to get later. All right, something to work towards. We'll be able to t uh, cast this on turn five if we draw one more land. Opponent's got a flyer. We got a Nixilis. what happens here. We'll be able to play Narset, gain a life. Unless we draw our spider, then I might consider playing the spider just because uh, we'll keep the Sky Theater Strix in check. This is going much faster than Legends of Runeterra. So our opponent uh, is on the Flyer's deck, which might be extra difficult for us. What? Oh, it's two men of different colors. That's sad. Alright, so it looks like we're just going straight for God for a statue. Wah, wah. If only we gained a life too. Sadly our opponent is hitting their land drops, which makes slamming God Pharaoh's statue a little worse. So our opponent's got a really strong flyers deck here. And that means we are not long for this world. <laughs> That's a positive outlook on the game, right? Like what is this, turn three? <laughs> we lost! Next one! <laughs> Hey, and you can do. Remember, don't don't call it quits too early. Don't call it GG too early. Otherwise, <laughs> what you think is going to be a four turn game is going to turn to twenty turns, right? I can say I lose, but you're not allowed to say you lose. See, you have to say I'm going to. Don't keep tell going. me I lose. We're allowed I... to slack up, but you cannot give up. I can say I lose, but you can't say you lose. And you can't say I lose. The only person who can tell me I lose is me. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, so this was nice. Gained us three life back. Uh, we are going to be able to uh, slam God for a statue if we draw our final land. If we don't draw our land, uh, then we can play Narset into a Liliana's Triumph. All we'll be doing is getting rid of their 1-1, one, one, but oh well. Oh boy. Oh bool. Yep. Spooky. We may end up having to slam Obnixilis here and killing their Aven Eternal. Uh, yep, it looks like that's what we're going to have to do. The only other thing we could do is make them sacrifice a creature, but we're going to have to Ob here and uh, kill their 4-4 and perhaps tempt them into attacking into Obnixilis just to give us some more time. 
So we likely do gain a life, um, and they're going to get to draw two cards here, but they're going to take two damage. One of the things that came out in terms of criticism when Riot released Legends of Runeterra, their card game, they had, um, so you guys have flying in this game, but in Legends of Runeterra you have elusive, which means only other elusive units can block. Mm -hmm. you know, so, um, but the thing is, they didn't actually have anything that was equivalent to reach. So they put fly, well, they essentially put flyers in their game without any means of reach. The only means to basically stop an elusive is to block with another elusive, or have the threat of blocking with another elusive, or using challenger, which allowed, when you attacked, you could choose who was going to block your card, your attacking card, if they had the challenger perk. So that was the only way you could basically take out elusives. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we're not necessarily dead. If we end up just playing the statue here, we're not dead, but we go pretty low. We could play a big blocker and leave up instant speed removal. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. So we're only going to be taking four next turn, and they're going to lose a creature. Maybe multiple? Maybe multiple. Maybe multiple. No attacks. Which I'm pretty sure they're not going to swing into just the simple 1-5 to make sure that they get an extra damage in. Oh, they got a Jace too. Pretty strong mono blue deck from our opponent. Pretty strong. Also, now they can't get in with their Ashiok Skulker. You said that last game that someone would kept typing GG every other turn. Is there a chat function here? Yes. So you can click on yourself and you can, there's uh, five select texts and depending on what your opponent says, these can sometimes change. Like if I, if they said nice to me, this would change from nice to thanks. Oh. And on uh, our turn, this says thinking or when it's our priority. Got it. So, uh, what is which which card is this? I didn't see it. No, this one. Okay, so they're gonna make our guy just come into a one one here, e. and lose his uh, ability to life gain. So we're going to pass the blockers, we're going to block one of these guys, uh, and we're just going to chump here to keep our life total high, and then uh, we will uh, Liliana's Triumph after they've attacked, because if we just Liliana's Triumph before damage, they're going to sacrifice this blocked creature, so we are going to end up having to take five here. And so... Okay, good. I just went to it. Sometimes they don't. Uh, now we'll do this. Make them get rid of their 1-1. One, one. And, uh... Not looking too terribly fantastic. We're going to be able to gain 2 life here. We can play both of our walkers here and gain 4 life. Uh, which I'm not terribly opposed to because that'll put us at 8 and then they swing back for 5 so we only will lose 1 life put us down to 2 if they cast a non-creature spell they have the chance of casting multiple non-creature spell and just destroying us but uh, I think that's what we're going to end up doing so let's start off by playing let's see if we can here so blue Mm, we actually are only able to play one. So we're going to play... Uh, a Timer's running out. Jace here? We have enough time to think. So blue, 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 blue. Yeah, we only have four sources of blue, so we don't have the ability to cast both unless we draw a blue source. So let's uh, tick up here. Tire player puts top two. Quick. We'll make them mill. No. 
Uh, and we do another nurture, but we do not have the mana to cast it. So uh, we can potentially die here if they cast two spells. Oh, well, it makes it a little blast explosion when you click. It's, I mean, it's it's more like a... can also you know, make my cat do flips. It's not exactly an explosion. It's just like farting on that part of the board. So three, four, five, six. So they have lethal on board, so we will concede. They're just kind of spinning their wheels at this point. All right, bed start. Bed start. That's okay. See if we can turn this around. Hopefully get a better hand to start with. And before we go, 03. This is fine. We have all of our colors. We have kind of pseudo removal to help us get to the late game. Just take one of their big beaters and slow it down. And then we also have this guy, so I'm sitting pretty good. We like to see that. Land go is always fun. He's invading your crops. It's an crop invader. Yep. Fun. And this guy gives all of our mass creatures uh, hexproof and menace, so that's always pretty pretty strong. And I. Uh, They'd have to sacrifice another creature to be able to successfully get in here through our Gleaming Overseer. And so if they just play a creature, I probably I probably won't block. Well, now they don't have the mana, so I would block. <laughs> oh, we can do something similar here. We could just... Well, we have a lot of options here. We can keep ramping. We can play a, another really great blocker and just keep the game going late. Or we can just balls of the walls. Casmia transmutation. I kind of like uh, the ramp, so let's uh, let's play the ramp. This does mean that uh, they could potentially get in with their crop invader, but I'm okay with that. We gain some life, so no attacks. Center back. Just get in for one. That's fine. Don't want them to have a trick or a way to deal three damage to our creatures, so that's fine. Okay. So we have five mana now, so we can throw out Hexcroc, or we can kill something and make something just worthless. He's going to put that on the lifelink, I think, if it dies. Could. Could. I'm thinking about just Ob's Cruelty-ing the lifelinker and then just turning this into a 1-1. One -one. Then they can most likely sacrifice this. But that's an instant speed thing. So I think we're just going to Kazmina the goblin team here. Just make them small. Smaller than they already are. Perfect, this is great. And then whatever they put the plus one, plus one counter on, hopefully it's the invader. Alright, uh, it's the lifelinker, so we'll just do this now. And so now they have no creatures, they have no target for their plus one, plus one counter. And everyone's upset. And they can't attack our menace. Well, they can't block our menace, he died. You're less upset now, he's, he's more upset. <laughs> I'm fine taking two. In Legends of Runeterra, um, the way they, they did their cards, instead of like blue mana, green mana, black mana, whatnot, it was different regions. You could have up to two different regions in your uh, deck, and each region represented something like control or damage or healing. Um, one of the cards, uh, the uh, the only card in the game that was a cancel was Deny, and it was found in the Ionia region. So, most everyone had at least Ionia, if only for the fact that Deny, basically you could spend three energy to just stop someone from doing something. And it became pretty much just by default one of the most powerful things to put in your deck whenever you got the chance. 
So we can New Horizons here, put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature, and then Kazmina's Transmutation, the Oncrop Invader. I'm fine with that. And then we just get in for three. So we'll New Horizons up. Let's just uh, be the most cautious. Make sure you don't accidentally click the wrong land. New Horizons up this land. Put a plus one plus one counter on our Gleaming Overseer. Uh, let's transmutate this. That way he's not longer a sock outlet, he's just a one one and let's get in for three. And then we just have a bunch of, bunch of good creatures to follow up. Yep, get in for one I think buddy. that's funny. You got the charity extractor and then the tithe bearer giant. So you got the one taking the money and the person safeguarding the money. It's all all in the name of charity. Let's see what they do. May have Devil Strong. But uh, their sack unit is uh, no longer in commission. I think this is what we want to play. Nah. We can save. We have six mana here, so we don't need to get to our seventh. Uh, and then uh, no attacks. So we have a good defensive put up, and now we just want to draw our walkers. And the walkers will end the game for us. So I get to do four and one because uh, Mayhem Devil does one whenever a creature is sacrificed, so it turns this into a five damage instead of a four damage spell. All right, there's our uh, first walker. Legendary Planeswalker. Is there a Planeswalker that's not legendary? Nope. All Planeswalkers are legendary. You know what they say, when you're all legendary, no one's legendary. Resolve. So we have one green floating, so we want to try and hit something else that costs three, I guess. Let's see what we do here. So we could get Kaya's Ghost Form and just pant something up, but I'm just going to take the statue, get that inevitability going. And uh, we have nothing to do with this mana here, so it's just going to... It's gonna burn. Go away. No attacks. And then our plan is just uh, statue him out. Give him the old slow roll. Give me your COVID impersonation. No, your COVID impersonation. Your COVID impersonation. No. Give me your COVID impersonation. Always got wiggle. Always oh, gotta be difficult. No, give me your what? give me your COVID impersonation. There it is. Oh, <laughs> you are just so funny, you. Gosh. All right, so every turn they're taking chill. one here, and all their spells cost two more. You know, no matter who wins, everyone's doomed now because that cat just sneezed across the entire board, and everything's nasty. We're gonna aid the fallen here. Green, black. Get back a Planeswalker and a creature. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. So we're gonna just play out our Nurture here. And then no attacks past the turn. What's the maximum health you can go up to? Uh, infinity. Ah. You can go up to as much health as you can announce. You do have to kind of give a number. So the highest actual number that you can think of is the highest life that you can go to. Because you do have to state a number. This is interesting. Maybe for you, but I'm just like, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on? So they're just swinging in. So they could have a combat trick or something. Yeah, like, why choose now to attack? Mm-hmm. 
So we trade our Gator away for their Mayhem Devil. Alright. I guess they just wanted to get another creature off the field. That's fun. Ooh, this is cool. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana to play with. So, uh, best plays would be Herald, I guess, and Narset. Although, I kind of just want to play Overseer and Narset. We'll start with Narset. Nice uh, to meet you. Blue, white, blue. Wait, no. Come on. Blue, white. I guess we do... Uh. So we'll add double blue, and we'll tap, like... Quickly, quickly. This to cast. And that's it. Gain a couple life. Replop the walker. Activate ability here. Uh, we'll take... I know this is pretty great. We're just going to take another god for our statue. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five mana. Let's play this overseer here. Make this guy menace and big again. Just get in for two. I can't block. Why can't they block him? He has menace. So this gives all of our zombie tokens hexproof and menace. And menace is ability that says this creature can only be blocked if it is blocked by two or more creatures. Got it. So if they only have one creature to block, they can't block it. Oh, it's legendary! Ha! Huh. Womp womp. Missed that one. Oh well. Oof. Duh. That's kind of sad. Uh, we'll take the celebration. Uh, then we will no attacks. That's sad that they made this legendary. I guess it makes sense, but... Six mana, it's legendary? Come on. Are you trying to negotiate the price up? <laughs> As oh, I in that case, I think it's worth 8 mana then. Uh, money up front, please. <laughs> no, if it's legendary, I think it should be worth a little less. Because you can only have one in play. So they're now on the deal 2 damage, gain 2 life plan. So you're going to have to get that off the field. Let's see all the modes of this. We can create a 2-2, return target permanent from our graveyard to hand, uh, proliferate, and gain 4 life. So we can gain a ton of life. What permanents can we get back from the graveyard uh, yeah so we're definitely gonna get back transmutation so we're gonna cast this we're going to uh, one two man what choice oh never mind there are there are different choices I was looking at the splash art and the name of the card and it's like wow Three. what variety <laughs> Took me long enough to actually read the words. Let's see what else we got in the graveyard. You know the permanents. I guess we can get back both of our Cosminas. Four. So we're gonna get back this one, and we're gonna get back this one. Then we're gonna make a two-two and proliferate. Close. We're running out of time. Wait, what? Submit to. Okay. I don't know why that was weird. Okay. I don't know uh, why that was weird either. Then we'll activate this ability. Uh, we'll take a cruelty. Turn off their inevitability. Play land. No tax pass the turn. I feel like Kazmina's Transmutation is the no you universe card. Let's see what they do with their ob here. Kill their own thing to draw two cards, kill one of my things, so I get to draw two cards. I'm sorry, are you proud of that card you drafted? Well that's just too bad, now it's gonna be useless. It's a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, well, so <laughs> like, it turns into a useless 1-1 one -one is the point. Nice! We got our own Obnixilis. So we're gonna play that. That resolves. So oh, it's his. Okay. <laughs> nope, we each had one. Yeah, just way different art. Is that like a special edition or something? That uh, that glass painting 
No, that. Painted glass church window pane looking art to it. Where? What? The, oh, the art. Yeah, he has a he has an uh, alternate art one. Is that like more expensive, or is that just random chance? It depends. Certain cards cost more when they're altered. I know that. Um, what was it? Uh, the new Thassa from the newest set. The alternate art was actually fifty cents cheaper. So I found that kind of interesting. <laughs> we feel like <laughs> this is a brand new painting and all, but I feel like we took away. So we're gonna make it cheaper for you guys. Ooh, my stomach crumbled. Yeah, as they want to do. So now they're going to be taking two damage a turn from our Obnixilis and our God Pharaoh statue. The pinging. Oh, they decided to just sacrifice their uh, walker boy. Ping, ping. It's kind of smart. That way you just keep your, your chump blockers around. You just stay alive, turn their duders into smaller duders. I take it the general strategy is that um, you just want to keep your life total alive as much as possible, even at the cost of the cards on the field. Yeah. Is there ever a time where you'd sacrifice your life over a card? Yes. Um, like, for instance... Uh, there's a lot of cards that say, draw two cards, lose two life. So you get to add two cards to your hand, which you have to pay two life to do so. And a lot of the times, that's perfectly fine. Like, I'm okay with that. I mean, if it came down to a choice of either you're going to lose life from your life total, or your planeswalker is going to die, or so-and-so card is going to die, do you always value keeping your life total as high as possible, or... Do you sometimes uh, sacrifice your life total in order to save the cards on your field? Yes. Uh, life in and of itself is a resource, so sometimes you spend it to do things. It just depends on how much life you have at the time. Are we t is this just did this become an allegory for real life now? <laughs> your life is a resource, so if you have a low amount of life, maybe be a little bit more careful. But if you have a lot of life, then, you know... Spend it. <laughs> this is literally a PSA. <laughs> Go live your life. For real life. Don't give up. We can give up. Don't spend your life. <laughs> uh, Use your head, and if you have some life to spare, then spare it. If not, spare save it. Spare it. Spare me. Spare, was that Palpatine in the movies? No, spare me was uh, the end of Dodgeball. Remember that? No, I never no. watched Dodgeball. Let me know if you uh, get that reference in the chat, viewers. Spare and me. It's not in the chat. This is YouTube. It's going to be in the comments. It's a chat box. You can chat in the comments. You got us. You have to have the vernacular down, though, if you're going to be a real proper YouTuber. All right. This hand is pretty, pretty spooky. I don't think I can keep this. We kind of have to really hope that our deck just provides us the lands we need. Nixie's pretty spooky right now. We are on Got the draw, it. but we would, ha like, if we don't hit a black source by turn three, then we're just just, like, in a bad spot. So, I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, this is a, this is more safe. We have two removal spells. We're gonna put the eight to the bottom again. Because that's just better later. I don't remember if we have a way to shuffle our deck in, in this deck. So it may just be on the bottom, we never see it again. Dissings. <laughs> the dissening. <sighs> Opponent was rude and decided to keep all seven of their cards instead of joining us on the mull down team. Yeah, so rude. Can't believe that etiquette, that breach of etiquette. Right. Let's click on things. <laughs> What if that was an actual thing? If you mulligan, your opponent has to mulligan. <laughs> well, then there are certain people who take a big advantage of that and just always, always mulligan. It's like, ah, my deck's better at top decking than yours is. I'm just going to get rid of all my cards and let the games begin. 
Like, for instance, the deck 8-rack would love it if both players just started with zero cards in hand. That'd be so good for them. Do you have any joke modes in this MDG arena? What do you mean? Like, right click my cat and it says a knock-knock joke? No, like, so in League of Legends, you have Earth mode, Ultra Rapid Fire mode, where everyone, no, there are no mana costs, and everyone's cooldowns are an 80%. So, really fast ability cooldowns. There's, yeah, so sometimes uh, Arena puts out special modes that might do something like uh, make it so that you can have any number of creature cards in your deck. Like, normally you can only have four of each type of card in your deck. So they've had formats where, screw it! You can have 20 of these guys! Just all you want! And then uh, they do modes where all of your spells are free! So you don't have to pay any mana for them, you just cast them for free. What card would you uh, spam if you could um, just fill your deck with a single card? Man. Land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh, play islands! <laughs> well, you can do that already. Uh, that's a good question. If I could have any number of one creature in my deck... Hmm... I don't know. Maybe maybe pack rats. I like pack rats a lot, and they kind of play off of each other pretty well. I don't know if that's fantastic because already all your cards can be pack rats, but always being able to have a pack rat on turn two would be pretty nice. I'm not sure. I'd have to think about that more. Off the top of my head, I just like pack rat. That'd be funny. You do it like a charity stream, and the whole premise is whoever donates uh, money goes to charity, and every time someone donates, you you put a, a forest in your deck. <laughs> Until you get like 50 donations and just your whole deck is forests and that's what you have to play with. Well, you can um, you can play with as many cards in your deck as you can uh, shuffle. So on Arena, you can play with as many cards as you have. You can play with, a, like, I don't know how many cards before the, like, the uh, program starts faltering, but you can play with, a, uh, in theory, infinite number of cards. You can, you can break the, the program. Yeah. So uh, if I kept adding forests, I would just keep adding other cards. There's actually an enchantment uh, called Battle of Wits, which uh, is modern legal, and the text on that I think is if you have more than 200 cards in your library during your upkeep, you win the game. So it's a 5 minute enchantment, you just have to play it and then have it stay on the field until your next turn. It's a nice, uh, nice one one you got there, opponent. Are you trying to decide whether or not you want to put a plus one plus one counter on this guy or this guy? Well, either Find way. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I hope they put it on the Ceratok, so that way uh, next turn we can do this and hopefully draw something cool, and they'll have a bunch of two twos against my big field of three threes. Oh, they just decided not to. Interesting. Interessante. Mm, I could do this. I really just kind of want to do this now, so next turn we can slam Nissa and hopefully just spiral out of control. I'm hoping that they'll put the plus one plus one counter here, here on the Ceratok. I don't know if they're going to play the big brain moves. Ooh. The, uh, ooh, loyal companion. <laughs> so now they may just put it on this guy. All right, they're being patient. They're certainly waiting. Did you just say they're being patient? They're certainly waiting. They're being patient. They're certainly waiting. Oh, okay. I was just like, that's an oxymoron. Hmm. If I just play Nissa here, then they're going to put a counter on Mawu here and attack it with a 5 5. Is that worth it? I think it is. Worried about the ambient noise. So we'll do this. We'll do this. And then we'll tap one forest and play this, I guess. Tick up on this, uh, untap this forest. Uh, we will go to combat. We will see if they want to trade their Mawu to keep their Yang Yang alive. Did you just tribute a forest? 
Yep, gave it legs. Nissa, who gives trees legs. My name is the Lorax, and I speak for the trees. If they don't block, then we'll end up playing the Naturalist, or the Nurturer, not Naturalist, uh, because she doubles the mana that all green sources, specifically forests, rather, uh, provide by mana pool. So yeah, the Naturalist two, attacks with essential oils. The Nurturer, you know, uh, the Cradle Saplings, and I don't know. Yep, and I'm fine with this trade, too. Next oh. turn we can play the statue if need be. Wait a minute. Centaur Nurturer. So is that a uh, Nurturer who happens to be a centaur or... Uh, nope, she's a, she's a... She is a centaur. Or she nurtures centaurs. I, that's not mutually exclusive, so I guess... It, but she's like, you know, come alive, tree. I'm nurturing you to greater growth. One... Two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, lock the door. Play the nurturer. Untap the beacon. I put the beacon in attack mode. <laughs> we will. Nope. We want to go to combat. Na, 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 na. We will attack Ying Ying. And if they have a combat trick and we lose our beacon, then sadness. And now since it's vigilant, we will now cast this guy and play a deuter. Alright, now we got a lot of good blockers. Let's hope they don't play a power for a greater creature. They did. <laughs> Alright, some removal. Uh, wow. Okay. Everybody go over there. Get her, she's shaking the world. We must end this threat to the world. She can take two. But Manchu. That was very aggressive from our opponent. Very aggressive. For seemingly little payoff. Tap. Untap. Tap. Tappity. Tap. Tap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play this guy. Proliferate a bunch. How many cards can you have on the field? Dink, 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 dink. As many as you can. Oh. It's, yep, there's no limits. You should probably test that at some point. See how many cards you can fit on the on the board before it breaks the game. Before it bugs? <laughs> before, yeah. The arena has bugged out before. I wonder what the, the limit has been on live recording. It's bugged out for you, or you've just heard about it bugging I've out? I've seen it. I've, not for myself personally, but I've like watched videos on it. I saw it with my own eyes. Uh, the way that you can easily do that is, well, of course, you could either play against uh, a friend and just tell them, don't do anything, I'm just going to get as many things on the field as possible. And there's a lot of um, token producers that just every turn can pop out tokens. So you can go that route, and then just continually make tokens. Ooh. Bloom Hulk. Bing. Bing, bing. Bong, bong. Bing. Oh, interesting. Bong. That'll probably end up killing my is... dreamer. Nope. I think our opponent is just slowly... Is that a first strike or something? Why, uh... Oh, did I only deal six damage to it? Oh, I don't know what. Then it's fine. So we will go... I'm also confused because I thought the thundering... Crack talk... Uh, crack it talk? Is. Uh, I thought he killed... Would have killed your... Uh, your... Your dam breaker. How did that work out?
Huh? So you blocked with a 1-1 one, one and your 5-6. I yeah. blocked with a 1-4 and a 5-6. So that was a combined total of 10 toughness, and it only had 6 power. So you can only kill one of my two creatures. Okay. So I, for some reason, thought that uh, Thunder Ceratok only had 6 toughness. So I thought I was killing it in the trade, but... So not only is the toughness reduced, but also the attack is reduced based on what's defending. Yep, you can only deal as much damage. It's like, for instance... Uh, you have the force to punch, like, say, like, Newtons or whatever. You can punch 10 Newtons a day, but then your body needs to recharge. So it's kind of like that. You only have so much you can punch. Or, like, if you have a bunch of brick walls back-to-back, -back, say you're, like, Jackie Chan or whatever, there's so many you can chop through before that's all you can do. You don't get to deal the same amount of chopping to each brick. It's because... like counting calories. <laughs> counting bricks. <laughs> hey, bro, you got a brick. So right now I'm just trying to close out the game. The They have lots of choices here. They can block and take away the 4-4, four, four, or they can block the 3-3, three, three, keep their Bloom Hulk around, and take 9. Uh, That's interesting. A timeout. Do you just get one timeout per game? No. Uh, depending on how fast you do your turn, your timeouts can build up. So if you the more fast turns you take, the more timeouts you get. So that way you can spend most of your time on turns where you have to think more and do more. Okay. So this... Either he's really thinking... Oh, he's used another one. Uh, either he's really thinking really hard about this turn, or he has to use the restroom. Yeah, he could be using the bathroom, or she. Dissing. <laughs> Them. Well, they, it's the thing about they, the internet, Mark. You're not, the safest thing to assume is that everyone is a 25-year-old male. <laughs> That's how you stay safe on the internet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, Got, this, this is Jaya. So yes, they could be going to the bathroom. They could just be angry. <laughs> and they could have just left their computer in, like, rage. Yes. We 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 will assume that they're angry, because that makes us feel better about ourselves. <laughs> nah. Oh, they must be furious. I wouldn't say I feel good. Turns out they're mad. just having an argument with their mother over something really serious. And <laughs> Get out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! Well, I, that's not so serious, but yeah, same vein, I suppose. Get out of my room, I'm playing MTG Arena as a free-to-play. Yeah. Maybe their mother or parents are against them playing Magic all together, and so they, like, mom walks in, they have to shut their laptop really fast, and they're like, What are you doing in here? And it's like, definitely not Magic the Arena. Can't imagine having to play with... Uh a hovering mom like that, like you're trying to just relax, but then you got your you have to always be vigilant. Yeah, about the mom, the anti vaxxer mom coming in and trying to mess with your life again. They did a little simple rage scoop, <laughs> let their timer run out. It happens. You did that earlier too on the first one. I didn't let my timer run oh, out. No, not that. No, like you. I don't you, you ever conceded early. I didn't mean to. Conceding think. early is kind and generous to your opponent. Waiting until your timer runs out so that your opponent has to sit there and suffer in silence. Yeah, is I get. Not I'm okay. sorry. It was a. It was a bad example. Yeah. You got to decide if you're playing for keeps or just playing for draft for value. Fun. Ah, man, we're so close. If you said one green source, this hand would be keepable. But. Uh, we're gonna have to mull again. We've had to mull so many times. Oh, I hit the keep button. No. Uh, it's okay. Never punished. Never punished. This is gonna be forest swamp on top. <laughs> or maybe they'll think our hand is so good. They're like, oh man, they kept seven, and then they're gonna have to maybe try and keep a bad seven too. Oh, okay. Benefit. So they mulled for us. Let's see if we. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're an aggro deck. Oh boy. Okay, alright. That's half of it. Swamps. That's half of it. Narset can find us removal. Boom. Um. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's, that's removal. Morty. Morty. Uh, alright, Narset, give us the goodies. Uh, there's our forest. <laughs> We don't have we have to put Nissa to the bottom. We'll take the removal spell. Give me the goodies, Narcissus. Narcissist. Narcissist. Put your those. Ooh. Ooh, the 
I thought it was almost just gonna say Germany. They're gonna steal. That's not Germany colors. Pretty sure it's red, black, and yellow for Germany. I can't remember which order for the flag though. Uh, well, you can just hear the crushed feelings in that one sigh. Uh, it's like it's almost to level of ghost pepper in the face level. Uh, All right, so we'll say goodbye to uh, Narset here. We did not hit our green. One green, and we're just like sitting clean. You know, that's the that's the that's the meme. That's what the kids say. We we crowdsource to hear what the kids say. We know this for fact. For fact. Wow, they only have to, they don't want to just you don't want to why. They're speaking in your Why? Grave. They're throwing with you, Mark. Well, in turn, both of our removal spells here at instant speed probably Oof. is going to end up being cruel to the riders. Unless they play some, something bigger. A big boom boom. Everybody say, way ho. Way ho. Man, now they got a way to use their mana. It's rough. Way ho. Still going to kill the riders here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I could do that to the Grim Initiate and just not let them have a token, but... Uh... <laughs> the hate twister has arrived. Well, not yet. He's in the hand. You live by the variance, you die by the variance. Sometimes you just only draw. Sometimes you just get mana screwed. The spells. I don't know what to get rid of here. Maybe the one one. Maybe they get rid of this one one to replace it with another one one. The one 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 ones. I don't know. Maybe they'll click on the grizzly here. No. I mean, be cool. Oh boy, you just got him back. This guy, when he dies, he amasses one, and amasses create a zombie army token or put counters on an already existing zombie army token. You have to put the counters on if you have one. You don't get to make one. Island. Well, we're casting spells, and this one at least trades well, because it's a three-two. That when it dies, makes a two-two. I will block a grizzly. They have a lot of uh, overlap here. They had uh, two of the riders, two of the grizzlies. It's like they're playing constructed. They had mana to play the they cards. Had mana. I don't know. Maybe we should take another card and just go with an eighteen land deck. I will block. I will. I'll do it. I'm crazy. <laughs> Ain't got nothing else going on over here. What am I going to save it to attack back? <laughs> this ain't a race I'm winning. I just need to keep, keep drawing lands. Give me a, give me that sweet black mana. Man, everybody's got the Maui. Okay. The black drink. All right. This isn't fantastic. It's time to get twisted. And do the twist. Yeah, get that furry out of here. <laughs> that fox. Let him draw two. Yeah, it feels so bad. We don't three to him. Man. At least this is going to gain us some life, because I'm pretty sure they're just going to all out attack Ob here. And at that point, we just let it die. It's, it's better for Ob to die than lose our zombie. Let it die. Let it die. Let it shrivel up and die. I mean, we don't really have a choice, because, I mean, like, if they attack with all of these, we block, like, a 1-1. One, one. No wonder he's twisted with hate. He's just like, man, I'm going to get played onto the field just to get killed. Just for my owner to let me die, and it's going to be really frustrating. I just try so so hard. And I got not far. And I and died. in the end, it didn't matter. He killed something and dealt three damage, you know? Yes. That's, you know it that's, had a purpose. That's all you can ask for. Ooh. Still no green mana. Opponent's got all the mana. It's one of the troubles of going in three colors. It's not always best to go in three colors, but, you know, we had some good rares and good cards in each color. I feel like at this point you need a gamer's manual for all the effects that are um, that, that are there. When they first make the card with a brand new status effect, like of course they have it all written out there, but after so many generation of cards in which that effect has been around, they just say it without a description to save space. So I think there someone like carries around a, a manual booklet 
to reference for all the different effects that are in the game at this point. <sighs> I got six, so they can't make both of our creatures not able to block, but they can make our charity extractor not be able to block and they get in for four. Yeah, this game is pretty much wrapped up with a nice little bow. That was an Boom. accident. Waiting to happen. We'll trades. Why didn't you use the charity extractor? This thing has death touch. Uh, but it killed my charity extractor. Wait. Green. No. Purple. Ah. Uh, Ooh. I like that art. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Sistine Chapel windows looking. Man, we re Ah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I won't. I won't concede, but we're, we we've lost. We have, <laughs> I won't concede, but I'm conceding. Because what? So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we're dead. They make our guy unblockable with this effect, and now we will concede. Well, you just said you're not conceding. They though. had to activate the effect. They could have forgotten. They could have. Could have forgotten. All right, we're two and two. So you're saying there's a chance. Two and two. <laughs> he stole your look, Tarbacoy. Cow. Or a tarbok. Tarbark owl? Tarbacoy. Where's the <laughs> R on the, at the beginning there, Mark? Tarbacoy. Tabercow. <laughs> Tabercow? Alright, uh, this hand is also just... Man, our deck has just been like pooping out duds. Probably should maybe take out one of the Interplanar Beacons since we only have five Planeswalkers. Yeah, you got like three of those little, in your deck. It's a little greedy. And yeah, but we, all, we have some pretty hard to cast Planeswalkers. Uri of Voth, Mark Poole. Mulligan. Keep. <laughs> Keep. Uh. Right, we have another statue. Yeah, if we win this, we'll have to just put uh, one of these interplanar beacons into something else, into another piece of mana. Dreadmalkin. Card's actually pretty good. Dread Malkin. It's like dread milking. I dread milking. Do you say malk or milk? I say milk. I say milk too. I I didn't realize that Malk was an actual thing until I saw the video that parody video. And then I found it turns out that people actually say it that way in real life. I'm just like aliens. So I'm putting the uh, transmutation on the profit here, so there's a chance that they might spend all of their mana if they do play a land to pump the milkin <laughs> and then not play another creature, but they did play another creature. And that just also just makes Oleana's Triumph bad. Oh well. Not a first good running. Oh, hey! Well, we can't do much. <laughs> we can make them sacrifice a creature. Maybe they'll sacrifice a creature to the Malkin here and then uh, we'll make them sacrifice another creature. I'm guessing the purple demon cat is uh, the default dance pet of MTG Arena. There's a bunch of them. You could choose between them. They all do the same thing, pretty much. Oh, is it the default one, or did you actually buy it or something? I achieved it. <laughs> so it looks I like they are going to Dread Malkin. If they choose the Initiate, which they do, we can respond and make them have to sacrifice the Burning Prophet. It's a 1-1 for a 1-1, but it still gets creatures off the field, and they can't attack with it. So now they only attack with the 3-3. I achieved it, he says. No, never mind, it took, I achieved it with my credit card number. <laughs> you, like, won it in a game. Like you, I unlocked you... it by... Um, I, I achieved it. I won games so much that I got the uh, experience to unlock it. Okay, so there's achievement-based unlocks. Yeah, there's rewardings. It's not to pay for the cat. I don't know why they're, like, looking at it. They can attack. This is Menace. I can't block. I can block this guy. Well, it's a good thing that they can't hear us. <laughs> they might hear us later. Hey, oh. Well, <laughs> by then, it'll subscribe be too to my late, Tabber Cow. <laughs> <laughs> Sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment. Well, don't sound whiny about it. <laughs> Leave a comment. You have to take control. I'll Never like give up. <laughs> I like that this is two mana. What do you want from me, opponent? I can't block. He wants your life. He wants you to conceive. That's what he wants from you. He wants you to give up, Mark. And you can do that, but you can't give up. He can. He can though. That's sad. Can't do anything about it. No tax. No tax. 
Sounds good to me. See if they sack this zombie army here to make their dread mulk a little bit bigger. That's what they do. Was there like a food and Pokemon that you could feed your? Oh well, obviously you make them bigger, but you at, you fed them food to evolve them, essentially making them bigger. Poffins. Po Poffins were a way that you could um, EV EV share or EV grow. Just reminds me of Eco Raptor. Why don't you evolve me, you prick? Because I love you, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. Yes, they do. We kill them for you. <laughs> oh man, we're we're a little bit too far behind here, but that's okay. Uh, it's not a race, Mark. I can at least attack here. Vigilance hmm. is great. All right, let's see if they send Draw Malkin Dralzmga towards Nissa. You just hit a man with a swamp. Just a swamp group, two fingers going. Yeah, they had the Poke chance. The they had to. They had. They could have blocked, but uh, they didn't want to get dirty. It's not in their best interest. Yeah, cats don't like the water. That's what their choice is. Too much wet spot in that marsh swamp. <laughs> so the way that they can ensure that Nissa dies here is if they swing all out at Nissa, and then whichever one of these two. Uh, I block, they sacrifice to their Dread Malkin. Yeah. You know, I think they should have an a, a animation effect where, like, she actually shakes the table. Nissa who shakes the table. Yeah, Nissa Nis who shakes the world. They should have uh, an effect and just, whenever she does her thing, she just, the screen shakes side to side. I have the aid fallen, though, so I can get her back. I won't be able to cast her the same turn to get her back, though, so. Sad. It, please. But I will be able to cast our spider. Karen, please come back. I miss the kids. <laughs> Sad. We just need, like, like our... Bam. Um, Nixilis thingy. Our Nixil removal. Oh, another man. Man, their deck is just gas. Another man, man. All right, so uh, we will... Aid the Fallen. Get back our spider and our Nissa. can transmute to make this thing just a 5-5 five five without menace. That doesn't do much. I think we save this for now, and we just play a couple... Well... Yeah, we may end up taking 5 here. Like a break, or take 5 damage? <laughs> we're gonna take a little break here. Okay guys, we're gonna take 5 here. Don't hit me while I'm gone. <laughs> But uh, we will be able to play Nissa next turn unless they kill our swamp. Do they know that you have Nissa back in your hand? Yep. So the little okay. eyeball shows you what cards in my hand. Do they know? Oh, uh, it's red. It's vampire red. So they have the ability to hit for eight here. So um, I'm gonna let them hit me for eight. But you blocked one, so that should be six you're taking. What does this do? Uh... They decided not to? That's odd. So what do they yeah. have that uh, enters and just they kill creature that was dealt damage this turn? Okay. You're supposed to be the genius. <laughs> I don't know what's in their hand, Ryan. I'm just pinky and you're the brain. I can't read. <laughs> So much for being the brain. I can't read. So I can play Nissa, pop up another land, uh, and then I can block one Dreadmalk, and if they play another creature, then they'll tr No, I can only block... Hmm. When the gears grind to a halt. Tr <laughs> so I need to have two... I, I need to have two creatures out. There's, there's no way around it, because this can get to three power by sacrificing the other one. That was spooky. Spooky. The doors. I tried to be quiet because I know you're filming, but I just put in some stuff away. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Uh, so, uh, Casey. pretty sure we just lose here. I don't see that there's a way that we cannot lose here. 
Plainness, so we make another thingy, but uh, whichever one of these we don't block ends up sacrificing the other one to get in for three. Time. We have, well, we have timeouts. Oh, okay. Oh, so it automatically uses it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Maybe they'll play, they'll see Nissa and play wrong. That's our only hope. Oh, we gain a life. Okay, so we're not dead, dead. We're just mostly dead. Let's let's hope they play wrong. It's not, I mean, that's a valid uh, wish, a desire, if you will. It's what all we can hope for, really. Uh, that the so... opposition just plays wrong and we win. So now they, unless they have something fancy, they can't kill us this turn. Oop, look, something fancy. They can put us to one. What does Anissa do again? So uh, whenever you tap a forest to add mana, it adds an additional mana. That's just, just it always has that ability. Then you can plus one to target a land you control, turn it into a creature, put three plus one plus one counters on it. It has vigilance. And then it's minus eight is land. You get an emblem that lands you control have indestructible, and you can get as many forest cards out of your deck, put them on the battlefield, tapped. Ooh. So our opponent didn't do anything there except for play a one one. Neat. Neato, One, two, Neato. three, four, five, and then we untap a land. It's hmm. a bunch of crock. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a five, six, and a three, three, and more counters on Nissa. I think we need to leave up the, the most blockers that we can. Could have probably attacked first, but I'm not going to just attack into their 5-5s. Five five if I had to choose between you and the ward scale crocodile, I'd choose the ward scale crocodile. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Alright. Stink. 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 Stunk. If you had to choose two words to describe this match, what would you choose? Lucky and confusing. So they have the ability to sacrifice one of their creatures here to turn this into an 8-8. But uh, now we can kill it if they do so. We will lose both of our creatures, but we get the Mulkin off. So they could attack this, they'd have a 1-1, one, one. we'd be down to just these. And I'm fine with this, so just taking one here. I can't think of like what tricks they might have. Uh, I'm going to do this. So if your island dies here, it goes to the graveyard, or does yep. it go? Okay. Yep. So we'll trade, and so now the board is a little bit more manageable for us. Uh, we also have really great attacks, so we'll be able to take up Nissa here. Uh, Ethnissa? On this swamp. Ethnicity? Get in for nine. They're most likely going to have to chump. We might, have, we might have turned this game around, honestly. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. So they go to four. And then uh, we play this and turn these all into four fours and up our Nissa too. Dang. Well. Oh, and you'll be able to, unless they attack Nissa, you'll be able to ultimate her. Do the thing with the things. That makes all of our lands indestructibles, which turns them into great blockers. All lands, not just forest. Yep. Oh, okay. Lands you control have cards. indestructible, and then you search your library. Dang! So the one, the swamps you have out, 
currently would, would be, just turn indestructible yep. and it would be GG. Indestructible creatures. Oof. And indestructible is it can't die by a damage. damage. You can still exile it, and you can also put minus one, minus one counters on it to kill it. Because if a creature's toughness equals zero, it then dies. it dies. Yeah, I gotta use those timeouts, tabber cow. That was close. This is this is strong. This is really powerful. It's big. It's here. We're ready. Let's go. An interplanar beacon did work because uh, if we weren't at four, they could have killed us the turn earlier, or two turns ago. Yeah. What's been the most disappointing part of this deck? I'm not drawing the right lands. <laughs> That's it. That's it. If we draw the right lands, then I feel a lot better with this deck. It's definitely more controlling, and maybe having more creatures, but. Uh, if you play a more controlling deck, you're going to have to sacrifice playing some creatures for more removal. And another timeout. <laughs> Just sizzles down to the last tiniest bit. Oh, you're doing the plus one instead. Yep. Why not... Uh do the minus eight now. They have three cards in hand, so they could potentially kill three of my creatures. So you keep it in reserve. Well, the main reason is because, okay, so in a perfect world for our opponent, and I'm, I know that this most likely is not going to happen, where they have uh, five mana worth of removal in their hand, so a two, a two, and a one, that can somehow either tap down or kill my lands. By making another four, four here, they kill three. We still have two attackers getting in, just forcing them to have an empty board. So they'd have to empty their entire hand and their board, and we'd still have all this. So I think that's just better for me. Plus they're timing out. I'm assuming they're just they're just they're just done. Rage quitting. I think they left. Should uh, send them a message, a little love letter. GG. <laughs> Good game. Oh man. Yep, that is GG. Alright, so we're gonna take one of the beacons out. So we'll go down one beacon, uh, and uh, I think we'll just go with a straight, simple split. Wait, you're not going to add two cards? Hold on. I uh, accidentally got rid of the... Ah, uh, you added more force. <laughs> yep, so five, 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 two. Uh, yep, we'll keep this. It's really slow, but we have all of our mana, and we get to go first, so potentially we'll draw into a two or three drop. I see this is the... A two or three drop. This looks like the rejected uh, Lion King remake. What? Can, My the, hand? No, hit D Jenkins. <laughs> oh, it's as. Oh, I played the wrong. Ryan distracted me! <laughs> I played the wrong land! I'm Jerry Seinfeld! Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're just racing to God Pharaoh's statue. That's all we're doing. Turn four, turn five. Let's go. Oh. We should have this on the field right now. Should have had on the field before. Sorry, Mark. Hunt counters. <laughs> it's like an al well, not albino, but it's definitely like Aslan's anthropomorphic cousin. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like if Jesus had a brother. Well, he did have brothers. It, it's like Jesus having a brother. Just so that you guys are wondering why it says promo giveaways up here, uh, once we make it to Mythic in uh, Limited, like we got to Mythic, yes, uh, Sunday in uh, Constructed, we'll be doing a bunch of promo giveaways. So this is just part of our race to Mythic. I think this would be interesting if it hit Planeswalkers too. I kind of wish it would. That would be... I think that would be rage, rageful. There's a well. There's already um, enchantments that can do that. They have a something in the tree and embed in the moon or something like that. It's already salty enough when your favorite card on the field loses its everything that makes it special. Lose its. Yes, but uh, just doing that for a planeswalker, they just essentially become. You wouldn't even have a, a, a need or a desire to attack them. There'd be no reason to attack a planeswalker that has no effects going for it whatsoever. 
True. It would just be dead weight on the field. No attacks. It's the equivalent of eternal timeout. Insect assassin. <sighs> I like to think that's an assassin that targets insects. <laughs> it's an exterminator? <laughs> <laughs> Death touch. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So we did draw the land, so we are going to be able to make this a simpleton play obby. Ubi dobby. And I'm not going to tick down. Leave it large and in charge, and then just let the pinging tick our opponent away. That'd be cool. I, I want to. My, my uncle's an, uh, an exterminator. Whenever when I see him next, I want to call him an, an insect assassin. An insect. Ah, how's our how's our favorite insect assassin? <laughs> oh. Just imagine them with like a little crossbow that's just got toothpicks, and then you're just they're just like hunting around, and then they just like <laughs> toothpick crossbow. You have like a you have a normal straw, and you just have a toothpick in there. There was actually a video of, uh, like, a shotgun exterminator, I think it was, where <laughs> the guy literally just, like, walks in with a giant gun, and he's like, I'm here to kill your insects, and he's just, like, blowing holes in the house. What is he, Ashley from Evil Dead? <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> you have termites, and he starts blowing holes in their wall. There was some, I don't remember what that was, but it was, like, exterminators with, uh, with guns. Overkill, it's like mouse hunt. Except with insects instead of a single intelligent mouse. So now when uh, Obnixilis dies, he gets recast. No attacks. Nothing to do anything. We're just we're a, we're a defensive win with the pings. You're p so you. So whenever he draws a card, he's gonna take a life. Mm -hmm. Dang. And this can make him draw two. <laughs> Fourteen more turns to go, buddy. Seven. Wait, huh? What? This deals the damage at their... At the beginning... Oh, of so my, both so of you at the beginning of your end step. No, at, at my end step, they lose life. When they draw, they lose life. So my turn lose life, their turn lose life. Ding, 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 well, ding, You don't ding. have any cards that make you draw, son. Is your hand empty? Yep. Oh, no, not anymore. I spoke too soon. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this because it can give them value. Oof, duh. Wait, you can do that. Oh. Oh, it only minus twos. Yep. So it's an uncommon. So before uh, War of the Spark, the only place you could have a mythic would... Uh, sorry, have a Planeswalker would be at Rarity Mythic. So very rarely do you have a Planeswalker in your deck. Uh, but with War of the Spark, they printed Planeswalkers uh, at rare and uncommon. And what they did for rare is they uh, only have two modes instead of three like a tick up a tick down and then an ultimate they only have two and then the uncommons only have one do they have planeswalkers of the same name but like a different prestige level in that so say you start off with basic obnixilis and then he does just that but then they end up making another obnixilis and it has that and another effect does that ever happen in this game similar but not as that is. There are a bunch of different Obnixilis Planeswalkers, and they all do kind of different things, but in a similar manner. They don't have the same exact effects as each other, but uh, there are mythic-level Obnixiluses. I think it'd be scummy if they, like, tried to release the same card, but it's got another effect to it, so it's just basically Obnixilis 2.0, and you have to pay more for the better version. Well, I mean, in, in reality, you do. Like, this guy costs, like, 25 cents, but another Obnixilis might cost, like, two bucks or so. Well, that's because it's, like, shiny and different foil and all that stuff, right? It's just better. It's better and more rare. There's less of them. Yeah. Not necessarily because it's more shiny. There are There is a shiny Obnixilis. Like, one of the dual decks, one of their promos has uh, Obnixilis in it, so it's got a special foiling. There's a lot of cards in the field. No one's attacking. Oh yeah, big booty, big booty, big booty, big booty. We got butts on the ground. What was that uh, barbecue? Baby back, baby back, baby back, <laughs> baby back. <laughs> bubble butt, bubble butt, bubble 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 butt. I don't know what that's from. So all this does is just gain us a bunch of life. We have nothing in our we have nothing in our graveyard to get back. 
So I think I'm just going to gain a ton of life and just make our opponent a scoop here. We're just going to gain all the life in the world. How does it feel to be unlucky? He hasn't even been that unlucky. He's been getting a lot of... Um, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's been getting a lot of lands. It's just that he cannot do it. You've basically twisted his arm. Come at me. <laughs> what is this? Each creature with four or greater... <laughs> that didn't turn out the lights. <laughs> Send in the clowns. Oh boy. More blockers. And that's this deck. That's what this deck's will do. Just these guys. And then the big booties. We lose the flyers. And just good decks in general. This is a very middle ground deck, but it's fun. We having a good time. Ping ping. Ping ping. Pong pong. Now what we need to do is we need to draw a proliferator guy, put an extra counter on here, kill one of their creatures, make them draw two cards. Ob comes back, but they'll be dead anyway. Gain some life opponent. I'm not done with this game. I'm having fun. He's at least trying. I'm proud of him. Gain some life. Play your own uh, plain wide celebration. Just just gain 16 life. Ooh. They're gonna get in. Have you ever had a moment where you're like dominating a game and you, you're feeling the obligatory, oh, I'll feel, feel good for the opponent, like, you know, they're trying their best, cause I, I know I'm winning, so I got this in the bag, but then they just make a comeback and turn the table on you, and you're just like, that goodwill is gone. You're just angry? And you're just angry, like, you didn't deserve to win, it was all me. And it's just like, have you ever had one of those moments? Yes, but I, I try to keep my composure. I'll, always. That's always important. But on the inside, it's just like, guess who's you're back? Just, you're just mad dogging the table at that point. So this gives all the creatures life links, so they did end up gaining life. So uh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. But uh, and so they killed Arnissa, and I just got it back. Yeah. You gotta. <laughs> So it's nothing has somewhere. changed except for they've given themselves more life, that's it. Wait, do you, is there any more lifelink still out there? Did, like, everyone just get lifelink for a turn, or is it permanent, or... I have no need to kill Teo, I don't really deal damage. Yep. Yep, nothing happens. Pew, pew. Oh, yeah, and people go back up to full. We just need our proliferate. Give me that, give me proliferate. So I can kill something, get out of Nixos back, kill something. Woof, that's pretty good. Woofers. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. You gain one life for each creature. <laughs> <laughs> if they turn this around, that's, that's going to be... Curse like, you, D. Jenkins! Like, wow. From 2 to 20 within, like, two turns. Wow. This is really good. And then they get all their creatures even bigger. They might be turning this one around. Well, don't say that. <laughs> Look at all this! They can make another one. Look at all this! 3 3-6, 3-6, 3-6, 2-5, 3-3, 2-5, 7-8, 8-7. 3.152598. Is that Trample? That is that Trample. So, uh, Bye Bye Nissa? Is that where we're at? I think we're at Bye Hopefully. Bye Nissa Land. Is that where we are? We Hopefully can... not. One, two. Buckle my shoe. If you don't have two to pay, can you not do the effect on uh, Nixilis? Or Wait, can you only be blocked by one creature? Wait, why can I only block with um, one creature? Am I missing something? Blockers. Other creatures control why why Oh now you can choose. Each creature with power four or greater can't be blocked by more than one creature. Oh, well then bye bye Nessa. No oh boy. This guy's what's doing it. So we need to turn this guy off. 
Is Teo being a problem? No. Okay. So Teo, Teo, what he does is he makes uh, our opponent uh, hexproof, so we can't target them with spells. But we have no spells that target our opponent. Uh, he does make more blockers, but we're not a deck that's trying to win by attacking. So we're just doing two damage a turn, and he's just like, he can do 15. Luckily, this is not trample. Oh my gosh. I think we lost. I think our opponent did the oh big turn. Oh my god! <laughs> Trolls too. Good job, opponent. Well played. Got him too. Foof. Got him too. They did good. They did good things. Would I give a lifelink? Lifelink would just like turn like be. If they're giving it vigilance. I would give it a lifelink. I can only block with one creature in his trample, so I'm not blocking. I can see how, like, not attacking for the sake of attacking is important because when you're attacking, you're giving, you're putting control in the opponent's hand as to how to respond to it, and so they can maximize their side of the board as much as possible. So, but with a game like Legends of Ruterra, you don't have infinite card space for your attackers and blockers and whatnot. You have six spaces. So, if by late game you still just have a bunch of dinky little poros out on the field, then you need to get rid of them, or else you're not going to be able to get out Darius or another champion or something that's really important that you would otherwise want to play. So I put it on this guy so that we can multiple block creatures to just get big guys off the field. I mean, if I was them, I would just be given... Uh, so he can give lifelink, yeah. I would just be given my big duder lifelink. But they're just making him... I don't, what are they doing? If you just keep giving this guy lifelink, you just go out like way over the top. He's only using 10% of his power. Turns out this is shaggy we're fighting against. Man. So we'll be able to get uh, Gideon off the field next turn with this. Oh, that's also an alternate win condition. What? We can mill ourselves out to win. I mean, they just end up attacking Jace. They have 14 cards in their deck, so we're just going to end up milling them. Because they're going to they're gonna do what they can to kill Jace, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they have Hexproof, so we are going to choose ourselves. What is our shark? Swamp. What does Cruelty do again? Uh, it gives minus 5, minus 5 until the turn, and then exiles it. Exiles creature. So we're going to be doing that on Gideon. Gideon. Getting hoomst. This guy. Because he's a 4 4 indestructible. And the only way to get him down is through. Counters. Counters. Oofta. And since he played a creature instead of using his ability first, I got to have priority. Now, he could have held priority and activated his planeswalker first, then played a creature. That's why it's usually best to play your um, planeswalker effects first. And you got him. Oh! And he scoops it up! I don't think that we were... I don't think we were... Ahead. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> I, that, that was... I don't think we should have won that game. Uh, I'll try it. We're missing blue mana. But at least we have a removal spell we can cast. it, And we have spells down the road if we draw the right lands. Ooh, pretty sleeves. Except they kind of... There's... Yeah, at a distance they're so... That is a I, Sliver Queen, I think, or Sliver hard or something. Hard to explain. Have you ever tried watching? Oof, that's really good. A, a like a 1080p video on like a 240p screen. Yes. And how sharp to, to the point of it's doing more harm than good. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I feel looking at these uh, Slither and Sleeve uh, cards. Slither. What are they? Sliver. Sliver. Slytherin. Ah, Slytherin. yes, the old Harry Potter call ah, out here. Yes. 
course. How could I forget? Draco, my boy. <laughs> what has happened to your face? <sighs> Just, I imagine there's some fan fiction out there that no escape they details how the the wizards of I almost said Waverly Place. The wizards, the wizards of, of Hog, <laughs> Hogwarts end up casting a spell that turns one of the students into a monster. Man, oh man. Me, oh my, oh, we might die, oh. That's pretty good. Do they sacrifice some? Draw a card? Sacrifice your, uh, your army there. No? They just want a five, six menace? From what I've heard, one of the things that, um, of course, it's always awesome to get a movie ver adaptation of your favorite fiction, but one of the things that just you can't compete uh, when comparing the book to a movie is that you're able to put so much more into a book, mm -hmm. so many more events. On So, for instance, with like uh, Harry Potter, there, was, there were plenty of uh, other events going on uh, things that happen at the school, advent, little adventures during the course of uh, class time, the semester, uh, whatever, so if they go on semesters or quarters or magical years or well, I don't know. Magical but. years. Tell me about your magical years. <laughs> Here at Hogwarts. Well, I smoked a lot of weed. <laughs> so. <laughs> it was magical. The point is there's a lot more um, world building in the books, but in the movie it's just, for the most part, it's just telling Harry's story, and they happen to be at Hogwarts, and some things ha happen there. So there was just... They're killing themselves. It's pretty great. What are they doing to kill themselves? So this deals a damage to them every turn. So at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose your life in a mess. Uh, and then if you have a zombie token with power 6 or greater, then it gains lifelink. But we're not going to let them get to a zombie token of 6 or greater. Ah, uh, cruel. So cruel, they have dealt world. more damage to themselves with... Uh, Dreadhorde, then they've dealt me with it. Because they've dealt me four damage with their creature attacking. So that cruelty card, it gives it five, five, minus five, minus five until the end of the turn, and then it exiles it? No, uh, it gives it minus five, minus five, and if the creature, oh. if that's enough to kill it, then uh, then it goes away. For good. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're going to add another step beyond exile? Because the way that card games go is that they have the graveyard, and that's just kind of the final spot, and then they add a new effect that's just like, oh, but you can do this to get something out of your graveyard. So they kind of invalidated the gra the gravity of the graveyard to the point where they had to make exile. The action, like, this is graveyard for real, though. Do you think they're going to come to a point where they're going to have a, a, a section beyond exile? I don't know. Or will that just bloat the game obscenely? There technically is a section beyond exile. Um, there, there are card effects. So, it, and it's and it's only really only used in casual play, uh, like tabletop, non casual, casual, like not big rules and regulation type games. But there's a place. Uh, there's some, there are some cards that say, uh, "Go grab a card that you own from outside the game, and put it in your hand." And the way that you could play that is like you could go to your collection and search up a specific card and put it in your hand. So it's, it's like, got to be in a joke uh, match. No, no, they're 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 on like actual cards that do see normal competitive play. Um, but uh, <laughs> the way that they've like kind of mitigated the effects of that card is if an effect says grab a card from outside the game that you own, uh, it means from your sideboard. Okay, so, so, it's so it's you like, don't actually get to go over to another person's table and be like, yoink! Well, that, just... well it does say you own. Okay. Because if right. you steal a card, I guess... Well, well so this is it. why you you let people borrow your your uh, cards at the, at the prime moment and be like, this belongs to me. I need one more mana. I need to land pretty bad. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, I could have been a contender if I just had one more mana. No attacks. There's no no real good attacks here. No attacks. One more mana, and I can uh, gain a whole bunch of life back with plain white celebration. Uh, I'm gonna make them sacrifice a creature here.
perfectly fine with trading a creature away. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, resolve. Uh, perfectly fine with trading a creature away here if we can. So, like, if they attack with their breaker here, then I will double block, and that's fine. Uh, we'll do this now, because when this dies, it gives some value, but when any of these dies, it doesn't, so... They're probably going to get rid of their charity extractor here. Because they want to keep building this guy up. Yeah. And this is just substantial. So, perfectly fine if they kill our dam breaker here. We'll go to six. Uh, then they can get in with their dam breaker. So, yeah, that's to be expected. But we might be able to get our land here and then gain a whole bunch. Didn't get a land here. One land we can gain 16 life and just get back in the game. Yikes. Spooky. I don't really want to go to three. No one ever does. No one even wants to go to zero. It's just the way these things go. And then we again didn't hit the land. Man, we're just one away from this um, beacon here. You still got you play stuff though. Yeah, we still have, we still have plays. Um, I'm gonna play this. Wolf. And then. Uh, Kaya up this person. Enchanted permanent dies. So basically, if it dies, it comes back. Mm -hmm. And then when this enters, it creates a one one, so it gets us the most value. That's good. So you're not a, you're not so afraid to let him chump block now. Yeah, which I'm gonna have to do because he's gonna swing in with both of these creatures. I do need to find a way yeah. to just get this off the field because next turn it's gonna start gaining them life. Yeah. Oh, they only attack with that guy. All right, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with just turning this one creature into two creatures. Ouch. Man, we're just not hitting our land. That is just really sad. We just need one more land. Uh, so... Hit that land. Smack that tree. Splash through that swamp. Oh. I thought this uh, got a creature and then a non-creature for a second there. I was going to get back, like, this guy and this. Uh, yep, the dream. So. Get back our dam breaker. And then play out our spider. We just need one more land. Uh, and then the... The sucky factor is that this is, they're going to gain life. Uh, if they do attack with us, I will put everything in front of it to kill it, but they're going to go back up to 16. Nothing to it but to do it. Right. And then if we don't draw land, we play our Dam Breaker again. Bus driver, break that dam. You you should get in with this. If they Okay, because they didn't get in with this... Wait, what's here? 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> 5, 6... So actually, the sad news is is we can't put everything in front of here, because we'd have to put all of our creatures in front of this guy to kill it, uh, but we have to still block these. So... Have to settle for the next best thing. We'll go... Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's sad. That's really big sad, because now we're going to lose this, and that puts us two mana away from Celebration. So we either kill one of their creatures, but lose out on being able to cast Plain Wide Celebration, I guess this is, uh, yeah, Big we, we do have to uh, get stuff uh, off the, we, have, we do have to kill some of this. Yeah, that sucks. Let's hope that they don't kill our centaur for some reason. Maybe they want to kill our lifelinker. They have a lot of mana. Yeah. Okay. So we did gain a life there, and we will... Well, we get rid of Spider. We do have the ability to still cast Plain White Celebration if we draw land, which we did. Woo! Alright. Uh, Alright, so that gives us a little bit more time. And time is money. So we can get back some stuff. 
we need to be able to kill this and the the long and short of it is we can't we don't really have a way to kill it outside of um Liliana's triumph because now it's too big for cruelty unless we like block with something but we can't get cruelty back so that zombie army is just going to now win them the game and spiral them out of control so this is just the best that we can do um just game four life, game four life. We can make four two twos, which is enough to block the zombie army. And then we sell them to the girls' ballet class of junior high. The two twos, that is. Ooh. That's pretty much the only thing we can do, because that buys us a couple turns. Yeah. Desperate and I know it. But they're just gonna go up to 22. They don't attack. Ooh. Well, that's cool. We need something here. I know what I mean. You did just say something, you didn't specify what kind of something. They're just going to gain so much life from uh, the zombie army. Yeah. I don't think we have a way to remove it without it without Attacking. blocking. Yeah. So. I mean. Oh, we do have a way actually. Okay, we need Obnixilis. Obnixilis is our out. So this can help us find Obnixilis. I'm assuming that they're probably going to do what they can to attack. They're just attacking me. Aha! You fool. So we won't be able to kill this uh, zombie army with blocking now, but I don't want to kill it with blocking. I want to kill it with Obnixilis. Oh my gosh. They just kill all our creatures and they keep their dam breaker. I had a feeling that you should have added one more. We did it! <laughs> we drew it! <laughs> so what does this do now? So this kills their zombie, and so since they won't have a zombie with six... So it's because this has power six or greater that has lifelink that makes it a real problem. Okay. So now they're not going to gain life, and now we have them on Well, uh, I thought it removed clock. five. And they're not able to draw more than one card, so combo. Wait, can you back minus... Oh, destroy it target destroys, creature. okay. Yeah. So now the we The curse will... is what does And the best five. thing is, um, this card, uh, it's stagnant, is each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. So they only get to draw one card instead of two off of Obnixilis's minus. So they get less value out of it. Okay. So now they're losing life from Obnixilis and this each turn, two life a turn. Once we slam this, they'll lose another. So we got them on another clock. We just need to be quick. This... Yeah, this is a way that they beat us. So anyway. we can kill that next turn. Uh, so they have to just swing out at Obnixilis here. They don't? Oh my goodness. Well. So we play a land. We kill their flyer. They draw one card, take one damage. Okay, that's fine. So you chose the... Wait, what did he do? Oh, everyone has Hexproof this turn. So let me just do some math here. He's one, two, three, four, five, six... This guy's a math magician after all. It's true. So they're losing three, three life every round. Now two life every round. Ah, oh, but now they have a way to gain life. What does it do? Uh, so you can pay seven. Each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Dang. And I think all of our removal is spent. Removed. And our Eight of the Fallen. I, we might have, I don't know, if, I think we only have one Eight of the Fallen. So they just kept having answers. So good on our opponent to try and figure out, because now they have built a two, four damage a turn, and they swing in. Is it your turn? Yeah. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, replace the blocker. Wait. Yeah, one, two, three. We have four timeouts though. Okay, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is another out. Nice. We have 12 cards in our deck, though. That's not fast enough. Uh, the fact that they're going to gain life here means that we're no longer doing damage to win. We're on the Jace plan. We just need to survive. You have to spend 7, though. Yeah. But they're able to do 4 a turn. Yep. So we have great Planeswalkers, but uh, they have 6 damage that they're going to be doing. And then next turn they just go, like, wide, wide. Two, three, four, no, green, green, four, This blue, blue, green, 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 blah, 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 Jace, gain a life. Twelve, eleven. Okay, so we can get three cards out of our deck with this they could start putting pressure on Jace if we mill them. We mill us too, so we kind of just need to go for the best opportunity, which is mill us. I don't need to do anything fantastic there. Uh, we'll keep that in our hand for now. Make it seem like you have a card yeah. to keep in reserve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so no attacks. Leave them to their clock. So right now all this doing is just making their spells cost more. If you run out of cards, you win? Yep. Like as soon as you draw the last card? You have to draw from an empty deck. Okay, so the next time that you have to draw and you have nothing to draw, you win. Yes. Okay. But this is going to bring us down to three. This is going to bring us down to, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're really, really low. <sighs> and we're just drawing lands here. Because next turn they just win. I don't think there's anything. Uh... Try attacking. No, that no, wouldn't do anything. Because all they have, because like they could block here, block here, block here, block here, and they only take six. They leave but... the two creatures they need alive to kill us. Because all they need to do is attack in the air and pay seven mana. But they, uh, they might not make the right decision. That's all we can hope for. Male Harry. Can't 
can't send them all. Why not? Because then it just gives them all the time to think. So like, if we send them all, then they do make the right choices, and they like keep the five three alive. They keep the five five alive, and then something else to attack. So we'll swing like this. This forces them to block, and yeah, yeah. Some of them tilted, but others didn't. It's because these have vigilance. Okay. We just need them to mess up and block with their opportunists here. But I think they're, they're, they know that all they have to do is survive, so that they're, they're playing well enough. Yeah. So they're just going to end up taking three here. They have everything that they need alive, like I said before. And then uh, we lose. It happens to the best of us. It also happens to the worst of us. Send us to one, activate to kill us. It happens to the most mediocre of us. There you go. So I, I liked this deck. It was fun. We had some interesting outs, but uh, just just wasn't enough. So uh, we will collect our rewards. Going four and three is not bad. That's it's fair. <laughs>